Medieval Minecraft. It's a really, really cool mod pack that adds in eight new dimensions, tons of RPG stats, quests, and uh, a lot more, including things like 10 civilizations. Honestly, this mod pack looks really cool, really in-depth, and it surprises me it's only got just over 650,000 downloads. So because of that, I want to show you how to install it today, and I would recommend you playing it, honestly, if you haven't already, because it looks really, really cool. So, let's go ahead and do it. First, though, message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host, and you go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to play the Medieval Minecraft Mod Pack with your friends. Yes, you can set up a Medieval Minecraft Mod Pack server at Apex in just a few clicks in under five minutes. We love just Apex so much, so we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So, if you want to play Medieval Minecraft with your friends, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. That's the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Medieval Minecraft installed. To do that, you want to go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is CurseForge. CurseForge is the mod loader that is basically used in order to run not only the Medieval Minecraft mod pack, but so many other mod packs. So once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down and click on the yellow Download CurseForge button. That'll take you to the official CurseForge download page, where you want to click on the orange Download for Windows button. Finally, in the bottom left, CurseForge will begin downloading. You can minimize your browser, and we need to get CurseForge to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or in the center of your screen on Windows 11, and click on the Downloads button here. It's going to open up our Downloads folder where there is CurseForge. Drag and drop that to your desktop for ease of use, and now double-click on CurseForge to open up the CurseForge installer. From there, click on Next. Go ahead and agree to the Terms of Service, and then Overwhelm is an app by the creators of CurseForge. It's basically their compatibility app. Well, you have to install Overwolf in order to install CurseForge, but Overwolf is actually really, really cool. I'd recommend checking that out as well. But CurseForge is here and it does require Overwolf. That's why they're both listed. However, we'll just create a desktop icon for CurseForge. Now let's go ahead and click Next. And then we have this. Skip it. You don't need it. Click Next again. And then finally, it's going to go ahead and download and install CurseForge for Minecraft and actually for every game, but Minecraft's a part of it. CurseForge has so many other games on it as well. It's kind of cool. With CurseForge installed, you'll get both this in the installer as well as a pop-up here that says, hey, you should just install CurseForge. Awesome. Let's go ahead and click Launch, or you can double-click on the desktop icon that it created, and it's going to go ahead and launch CurseForge for the very first time. It's really, really cool how CurseForge works because it allows you to play and manage tons of different mod packs very easily. So you'll see that we can install Medieval Minecraft here. We can just install so many more as well. You can also delete the CurseForge installer at this point. Now, when you first log into CurseForge, it's going to give you this overview. I'd recommend going through it, but we're going to skip it for now. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and click on the Minecraft Java Edition game here, right on the main menu of CurseForge. And then we want to go ahead and click Continue next to Standard, or, or with Standard selected, excuse me. Now it's going to get basically CurseForge ready for Minecraft modding and basically installing mod packs. So as you can see, it's loading up. I've been getting errors on this recently. Yeah, I just have to click it twice. <laughs> right there we go. Boom, it worked. So I don't know what that's about, but it is something if that happens to you, just click it twice. Nonetheless, here we are now up at the top. We can search Medieval Minecraft. Right like so, and there it is, Medieval Minecraft. Now, there is a 1.18 version as well as a 1.18.2 version. Whichever one of these you want, go ahead and play. The one that's classic that everybody knows as old school, if you will, that most people are talking about is the 1.16.5 version, but you can install any of these, and they are all from the official creator. So it's all up to you and whatever you want to play. I'm going to go ahead and do the 1.16.5 version, but again, you can install multiple packs, so we can install both of these if we wanted to, both the 1.16.5 and the 1.18 version. It's kind of up to you. With these installing, though, we can go ahead and click back, and it will take us here where we can manage them. As you can see, there are the different versions. Fortunately, it is a little hard to see, and you can you know rename them, and it seems like we got an error out. I'm curious which one of those that is, and uh, that is something we can report to the developer. It was actually the 1.16.5 version. seems to be having an error there. Very odd, but nonetheless, as you can see, the 1.18 version is still downloading. I'll go ahead and attempt to re-download the 1.16.5 version. My internet has been very messed up today. It's been having some issues, so that could very much so have been the problem there. But as you can see, this one is now done downloading, and uh, we might be about to be done downloading on the 1.16.5 version as well. Anyway, I'm just talking now. You can get back to this page and kind of watch the installation happen. So as you can see, the 1.18 version is finished. We can click on that to see that it is the 1.18.2. And if you wanted to rename it, you could come in here, click on profile options, and uh, move 1.18.2 to the beginning, because that way we know, uh, well, exactly what version is is 
back from this page. You can see it now that's updated. So that is something you can do. Once it's finished downloading, you just click play. It's that simple. So you can click on play. It's the same for the 116 version. I'm not even going to show you that one because, well, it's redundant. You just click play on it once it's done downloading. It's that simple. You can also go in here and rename that one with the exact same thing by right clicking, viewing the profile and going in that way. So yeah, there's really no reason for me to overcomplicate this. It's now opening up the Minecraft launcher in which we will need to log in to our Microsoft or a Mojang account to play Minecraft. By the way, this is the default Minecraft launcher so you have nothing to worry about. So here we are logged in, click play in the Minecraft launcher, click play again. And by the way, you can go into installations and like edit this like you would a normal, a normal version in normal Minecraft because this is the normal Minecraft launcher. They've just used it and added the mods to it. It's that simple. And now you just wait. And that's a lot of what modded Minecraft is. It is so much waiting. When I'm recording these videos, it will literally take me 40, 50 minutes to record a simple video like this because of all of the waiting that goes in to launching mod packs and doing all that stuff. So keep that in mind, just walk away 15, 20 minutes after you click play, come back, and then the mod pack should be open and you should be able to play Medieval Minecraft. So here we are in full screen takeover Medieval Minecraft. We can jump into single player and jump into a world and kind of see what this mod pack's all about. It honestly is really, really cool. It's also worth noting that we have a Medieval Minecraft server on our Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com. It's not this mod pack per se, but it is medieval based. There are quests, there are stats. It's it's actually really cool. It's not based on this mod pack, but this mod pack's cool, and so is our server. So if you are into the medieval style, I suggest checking out play.breakdowncraft.com. It's 1.18, and you'll be able to have some fun in a Minecraft server with other players and play medieval and all that stuff. It's not this mod pack. I want to make that clear, but it is a medieval based server. It's been around since 2018. We were first. Anyway, we are now loading this up. And once we're in game, this, and as we can see, we have a bunch of stuff in our inventory, animal, dictionary, crypt croptopia, as well as bread, wooden sword. We've got a shield. We've got a mini map. We are good to go, and we can see all of the different mods here. There are a lot of them. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video, and enjoy Medieval Minecraft. Seems like there might be a uh, custom bio mod here as well. <laughs> see you in the next video.